uh, we cannot determine for now. Um, I'm not sure I understand, Doctor. It simply means that when your daughter wakes up, she's going to suffer great memory loss. She will hardly remember anything. Her name, who she is, what happened, or even who you are. Who I am? am? Yes. Dr. Min, her entire memory has been wiped out. Um, wiped out is not the right word. I would rather say it's a temporary loss of memory which she will recover from later. Yes. Uh, Doctor, we can remind her about her past or anything she may have forgotten. Oh, no. Is it trying to wake up her memory will only uh, cause the brain to react violently, trying to catch up. Oh, my God. Yes. In the process, it may cause a serious brain damage, which may either lead to insanity or serious brain hemorrhage capable of taking one's life. Oh, my God. Elena is all I have, Doctor. I can't lose her or have her run mad. I'd rather kill myself. No, no, no you won't do that. <laughs> That's when it's important that um, the necessary things is done. Important things like what? Uh, no one should try to remind her of the past or even bring anything close to her that will remind her of the past. In fact, when your daughter wakes up, the best thing to do is to um, take her to a new place or even a new city. There she will start a new life, grow a new memory that will strengthen her brain until such a time when she's medically sound to be able to retrace her past. A new place in a new city? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, it will go a long way to protect your daughter's life as well as to heal her quickly. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Sweetheart, my love, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Elena, Elena, can you hear me? How do you feel? Hmm? Elena, can you hear me? Can you hear me? She may have heard you, but she can't make out who you are. But doctor, her eyes were opening. She must have seen me. Yes, she may have seen you. But like I told you before, she has lost her memory. You see, we need not pressurize her. Hmm? Elena, my love, my sweetheart. It's all right, she'll come around. The doctor says you will soon be fine. I will soon be able to take you home. Hmm? Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. That fool that you sent to me almost killed the girl. But he never knew she was part of your scheme. Well, he should have called to say there was a new development. Yeah, that's how these things are done. He's lucky though. Because at the end of the day, it's all working to my advantage. Advantage? Yeah. Uh, how do you mean? Yeah, well, because of the knock that Elena suffered on her head. The doctor says she might have um, a memory loss for some time. But you told me yesterday she was coming to. Yeah, yeah. She could come out of her coma, but she won't be able to remember a damn thing from her past. Not even her own name. Really? 
For how long? Well, time is unspecified. Could be days, weeks, months, even years. Sounds like magic. But how can she not remember them? That's the way it is. Well, her mama says to me that she's sending her to a holiday home they have somewhere on the outskirts. And that works really well for me, you know? No Stanley, no marriage, no memories. Just a fresh new apple, you know? Waiting for me, the lifesaver, to come and plug. <laughs> Maxwell the schema. You can say that again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's to my upcoming wedding to the billionaire's daughter. <laughs> Cheers, man. Now I understand what you meant. Well, I said to you, stick with me. Oh, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Just like a dream. How you doing? You said on the phone something interesting happened. Is Maxo dead? Not yet. But something really interesting and fishy. Take a look at these pictures. Who are those people? I don't know. Maxwell killed the man and saved the girl. I don't know why. I can't make out a thing out of this. I followed him to the hospital where the girl is being treated. They said the girl's name is Selena. I followed her mother during one of her visits to her home. This is the address. There is something fishy about this whole thing. Maxwell killed the man and saved the girl. Could this be an act of rescue? I know Maxwell. I saw him strangle a dying man to death. I'll give him my best shot and see what I can find out. Good. your home. Everything you want and need, just as you want them, is inside. Hmm? But I, I don't remember here. Uh, you're my mom, right? Yes, I am your mother, my darling. Where is my father? How come he never came to look for me at the hospital? Does he hate me? You're... Um... <clears throat> 
Alina, your... Your father died a long time ago. No. My father can't be dead. No. Look, Alina, there are so many things you cannot remember. Okay, and this is certainly one of them. Since your father's death, you have been the only source of joy and comfort for your mother. You have to consider the trauma she has been through. Don't break her spirit by bringing up the issue of your late father's death. I know it must have been hard for you, even though I don't remember. It was. But you know, each time I look at you, I feel comfort and my tears dry up. I need you so much in my life, my darling. Elena, you are your mother's only source of strength. Promise her you'll never bring up your late father's issue. I promise, Mama. I promise. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Let's go inside, okay? You need time to rest and recover, okay? all right? Please, join us. Eh? thank you for handling the issue of her late father so well. I didn't know what to say. Um, I'm sure you always find the right words to say. Well, um, you know, she was about to get married and um, now her fiancé is no more. I don't know how to break the news to her. Well, like the doctor said, uh, I don't think she has to know. I mean, not yet. She's here to start a new life, you know, to begin a new chapter in her life. I must thank you for ensuring that you devoted your time towards her getting well. You saved her life. How can I ever repay you? Well, let's just... Um, you can, you can say I'm a good Samaritan. I'm sure if I was the one involved in that crash, you know, someone else would have done the same for me. Well, you must um, promise to come by from time to time to help me out here. I know that my enemies are laughing and mocking me by now. But, uh, I don't care. I just need Elena to be well. Oh, she's okay. I mean, just take a look at her. She's getting better. Praise God. Well, you must join us for lunch. I insist. Hmm? Um, okay then, for Elena's sake, I will. Thank you. Just give me a minute, okay? said you saved my life. How did that happen? Mm. Well, it was a miracle. 
we happened to be traveling on the same bus and then we somersaulted into a ditch. Luckily, I was the first to come out. That's terrible. Did anyone die? Fortunately, no. But everyone thought you were dead because the bus was on fire. So I had to force my way in to pull you out. That was incredibly brave of you. I mean, you could have lost your own life. Well, I guess God wanted us all to leave. I couldn't have left you there. Um, finish your food, my love. You need to rest. And I have lots of relaxation activities planned for you. I just said to drop by and see how you and Elena are doing. Oh, she's doing well. We had a picnic the other day and, you know, she's beginning to make new friends. Mm. Mm -hmm. She did ask of you, though. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's good. In that case, I have to take her out. Oh, yeah? Yes. I was actually in the neighborhood to do some things and I said, okay, why don't I come in? Hello, Mr. Maxwell. Mm -hmm. How are you? You've been so scarce. Look at you. You look quite trendy. Yes. Well, thank you. Yeah, I see you're getting stronger by the day. <laughs> yes, I am. Cheers. Well, I don't know what your schedules are like. Um, thinking, do you have time to go look around the city? Well, I've been indoors all day, so I might as well. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you think I should change? Oh, no, you're looking good like this. All right, let me go get my bag then. Right. By the time you two get back, I'll have lunch waiting for you. Mm. Yum, yum. <laughs> So how has business been? Well, here and there, okay. everything is okay. Alrighty, I believe we're set to go. <laughs> and you have a good day, okay? Stanley! I had a dream. 
You were... We were in a car. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like I'd known him for a long time, you know? And then... And then we had an accident. And I never got but the name was just in my head. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. I'm with Stanley. Stanley is. Uh, oh, I was told that that's the name of the driver that um, accidentally crashed the bus you were traveling with. Really? I don't know, but that name is just in my head. I don't know why. You need your your medication, okay? Here, put this pillow up here. Good. Let me go and get your medication, all right? Till I hit the pain. Okay. Take Actually here to see the MD. I'm sorry, she's not at work right now. May I take no. a message? No, no, no. You have no idea when she'll be back? I have no idea. Or oh, has she not been discharged from the hospital? I don't know. Okay. okay. Perhaps I should check maybe in a week's time. Okay then. You are. Any news about the young man she was with during the accident? Stanley, my fiance. Yeah, Stanley. He died instantly. How cruel can the devil be? It's really sad, you know. I mean. To think that your wedding was just, just around the corner. I don't know. Well, I'll check back at the house. I was there earlier today and the gate man directed me to the office. Oh, okay. Okay then. So you have a nice day, sir. Thank you. What did you make out? The whole thing is confusing. How do you mean? For one, the girl Elena is the daughter and only child of Lechi from Bono, a former minister and a billionaire estate consultant. The girl inherited everything upon the man's death. You mean that girl inherited up to a billionaire? You can say that again. She was set to marry the man Maxwell killed. Oh, my God. 
Now Maxwell is itching his way slowly closer to the girl with an intention to marry her so that he can share in the billion. Hmm? Yes, that could be it. <laughs> with Stanley now out of the way, Maxwell stands a better chance. Well, Maxwell is in for a big surprise. We must find him. busy day today but everything is fine. <laughs> How have you been? I'm feeling much better. Okay but not as good as I want you to feel. How's your mom? She's fine. She went out to get something. Ah so you're at home all alone. How boring. Hmm? Is that something you want me to do to make your day special? Well I don't know. I mean I'm just at home loafing around watching TV. Okay, don't worry, all that will change, okay? I'll drive by your house to pick you up. I want to take you somewhere. Um, but my hair is all messed up, my nails aren't done. I'm just not feeling 100% right now. <laughs> don't worry, we'll get your hair done, okay? I'm coming over, see you soon. Okay, bye, see ya. Drive. Well, 
So, how did you say your day was? Oh, I had a wonderful day. We did lots of exciting things, didn't mm. we? Yeah, we did. Mm. You're looking radiant. Oh, thank you, Mum. I also had a manicure and a facial, mm. which has left me totally ravenous. Is there food? Of course there is. Go and get yourself something. I will. You want something to eat? Oh, thank you. Sure? Yeah. Okay. All right, see ya. Yeah. Driving lessons, Mr. Maxwell? She's not supposed to remember anything about her past. Well, the driving lesson only registered as a present memory for her. And she found it very amusing. Don't you think it would bring back memories of the accident? Oh, she sees cars every day. Besides, I don't think um, it would do her any harm if she starts driving again. Well, if you say so, um, come to think of it, I, um, I haven't seen her this um, happy and thrilled since the accident. I must thank you. I'll be very glad to see her fully recovered. Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, that reminds me. A friend of mine is having a dinner party today to celebrate a contract he just won, so I'd like to take Elena with me as company. Hmm. Well, um, I don't think she'll be fit for that now, considering she's been out all day, you know? Well, I think it will, it will offer her an opportunity to mix and interact with people, new people. And I'll be with her all the time. Well, okay. Um, I'll leave her in your care. She's safe with me. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Oh, uh, no, thank you. Okay, maybe water. Water? Don't be silly. I'll get you some wine, okay? Okay. the same thing, but I'll rather champagne. Okay. Thank you. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> this is a really nice place. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Come to think of it, you've been so nice to me and yet I hardly know anything about you. Well, you know, I've been out of the country for a long time, you know. In search of greener pastures. Of course. Hoping to come back someday and make my mother very happy. But then just as I was about actualizing that dream, she took ill and she died before I could be of any help. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Um, it's just that since then, you know, I've hated mourning. I said to hell with it. I'd rather die than deny people the help they need. 
So when I saw you in that crash, you know, looking all so helpless and everyone had given up hope on you, I said, no way. I won't let you die, even if it means me dying. Wow. You've been... I mean, you risked everything. Even your own life. And you've been there for me ever since. How do I ever thank you? Well, you don't have to. I think it's destiny that has brought us together. You know, meeting you has dried the tears that I've cried since my mother's death. I don't want to let you go. Anyway, at least now I know more about you and your feelings for me. So, I don't feel so empty anymore. Will you marry me, Elena? What? Marry me and make my life complete. I... I don't know what to say. I mean... You don't have to say anything. Just promise me you think about it. I promise. Okay. Yes, sir. How was your acting? It was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. Mom, did you know that um, Maxwell lost his mother, just like I lost Dad? Really? No. Why? Oh, nothing. It's just another thing we have in common, I guess. And he said he's in love with me. In love with you? Even proposed. Maxwell proposed to you? Yep. <laughs> you don't seem very excited though. Uh, I'm just thinking. Um, why don't you just go in and change, okay? Go in and change. Yeah, I need to get out of this. Yes, Stop it. Good night, Mama. Good idea. I'm sorry to have to take you off your schedule for today, but this is important. Yes, the urgency in your voice. I hope Elena is okay. Yes, she's okay. Uh, sit down. She went out with the maid. Elena told me you proposed marriage to her. Yes, I did. But, but I did that from the deepest part of my soul. I really do love her. 
My daughter is just recovering from a sad incident that almost took her life. I brought her here to get away from it all. Now you want to take her back there? No, it's not true. She doesn't know who she is. No memory, not the slightest ability to make decisions for herself. Do not take advantage of that situation. No, I won't. I do love her. And I think what she needs now is a new future to be written for her. And I want to be a part of it. Her marriage to Stanley was um, a month away before the accident. She had nightmares about it once. Now, you, you want to bring up issues of marriage to her? No, I, I think what Elena needs now is a new life. A new history, a new beginning. I mean, she cannot just sit down and wait for her, for her past to come back and, and drive her insane. Or probably kill her. How do you know? Or how can you decide what my daughter needs? I love her. And I care about her. I know what she has been through. And I can take care of her. I know the burden that she carries. And I want to share that burden. I don't want her to fall into the hands of some stranger who doesn't know what she has been through or where she's coming from. save her life and to care for her for the rest of my life. Please let it be. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Get up. I'll speak to my daughter first. And um, I need time to think things through. She's very fragile at the moment and uh, I need her to be stronger before moving to another level. It's okay, Mom. I'm not in a hurry. I'll wait.
Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, Matt. I want to know what's going on with this boy that you sent to me. Um, Kratos or whatever his name is. Is there any problem? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my God! What took this? Who else knows about this besides you and I? He took these pictures. Now he's trying to blackmail me! For what? You tell your guy he doesn't know who I am. He does not know me. This can't be. This... from you, Cletus, are the negatives. I don't know what you're talking about. The pictures you took at the crash site. Look, all I did was just my job, and that was all. Good job. 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 Danny. Why are you doing this to me, Danny? Why? I trusted you. I gave you a job and I paid you well. And all you could do is to turn around and bite me at the back. You think you can blackmail me? Huh? You think you can blackmail me with your stupid pictures? You think you can ruin my plans? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Neither will anybody else. But don't be a fool, Cletus, okay? I am giving you a chance to leave. So I'm asking you for the last time. Where are those negatives? I swear, I swear I don't know anything about it. You know, it looks to me like you're not walking alone. Uh, Who are you walking with? Uh, huh? Who put you up to this? Who are you oh, walking oh, with? Oh, 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 oh. to serve as a message to the rest of your gang. Oh, no. You tried, Cletus, but you lost. Open your mouth, Daniel. Please don't do this to me. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Why? 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 Why?
Mika, yes. you have a visitor. A visitor? Yes. Who is it? Miss Elena. Oh, Elena. Mm -hmm. uh, where is she? She's right in your office. Oh, um... Nurse, please take this uh, report to the medical director's office. Tell him I'll be with him very soon. Okay. I'll join you later. Okay. Concerns about my health. Your health? Are you having any difficulties? I keep having these recurring nightmares, and I was wondering if you could take me to the crash site. The crash site? Um, there is absolutely nothing there to see. I mean, the car has been removed. Uh, do you know anyone by the name Stanley in relation to the accident? Because that's the name I keep hearing in my nightmares. I'm happy that you're catching up very fast. And um, I think it's about time we let you into some of your past. So you know who he is? Well, according to your mother, Stanley was your fiancé. And um, you were both in the car when the accident occurred. But unfortunately, um, he didn't make it. But I thought I had the accident in a bus. Oh no, it wasn't a bus. But you don't have to bother anyway. You survived all the same.
Yes. It is a car my paramedics saw when they went for the rescue. This is all in the past now, okay? You don't have to believe whatever anybody may have told you. Including the doctor that treated me? The doctor that sent paramedics to the crash site to save Stanley? Stanley, my fiancé! And you knew! Look, Elena, no. Oh, don't touch me! And you want me to spend the rest of my life with you? And you know something like this and hide it from me. And deceive me in this way. Look, Elena, it was just a lie of convenience. Okay? I only lied to protect you. Protect you from the truth that may have hurt you. That truth is what would set me free. I had to find out the hard way that I had a man that I loved. I wanted to marry. I don't, I don't believe it. Elena, Elena, wait. Wait. I'm sorry. But I have to find out who Stanley is. Or was. And then, I have to find out who you really are. Elena, please. Elena. Look, let, let me explain this, okay? Please. Alina, okay. She she found out about Stanley. Stanley? How come? I don't know. I guess she, she must have spoken with the doctor. Where is she? said that it is best not to remind you of your past because of your amnesia. My emotional life is not my past. It's my present and my future that I need to hold on to. When was I supposed to find out about Stanley? 
when I was already married to Maxwell? I'm sorry, you had to find out this way. I have to find out more. I want to know everything. Who am I? Am I in school? Uh, uh, do I have a job? I mean, what, what am I? Listen, all you need to concern yourself with now is your health. You need to get well first, okay? How can I be well if I don't know who I am? I feel, I feel like a fool that's just laughing around with no identity. And you need to tell me. I mean, did I kill my father? God, no, no. Don't, don't say such things. Your father died after an illness. He was proud of you. Then, tell me who I am, Mom. I need to know. I can take it, honestly. Please. I thought you were in Germany. No. I left Germany immediately. You were imprisoned. You were lucky. How did they release you? I'm sure that's not what brought you here, Sylvester. With Kelvin dead. What else would I want to talk about? Anyway, that's an issue for another time. No, it is not, Sylvester. You and Kelvin betrayed me and stole my money. Old story, Maxwell. Let's get down to the present. Was you 
all along. You all along. Yes. You know, I could have killed you all along while following you. But then I stumbled into your little secret. Now you cannot kill me anymore. Not even in my I do not have to live in fear of you anymore. What makes you so confident? I have the negatives. I have so many copies of the pictures. And there are with people who will go to the police and the family of the man you killed. Should I even die of Pray for my mother. You cannot blackmail me, Sylvester. But I have no choice. I don't know how much the girl is worth anyway. But I demand for 50 million naira to be paid to me in two installments. You must be out of your mind. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money? I know you, Maxwell. You are a smart guy. You can skim your way into the girl's family account and... You're a dead man, Celeste. I assure you. No. She was the dead man. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Remember Margaret, your secretary? I will. Soon. Could we um, have the key of the office? Graduation, you worked here with your father, and when he departed, you took over. I stepped into my father's shoes? Yes, you did. And you did me proud. See, I am the chairman of this company, and you are the executive director. Mother. Let's go sit on your chair.
Yes. Then can you meet me at the corner of Johnson Street now? No, no, no. Second turning by your right. Yes. Guess what? I just saw Celestia. Yes. Come right away. This is important. No, I'm right there waiting for you. Okay, then. See you soon. Right. have been sent before the accident. Yes. You knew Maxwell before the accident? I don't know. I, I don't know. Margaret! Margaret! Yes, ma'am. Do you know who sent this and when? Oh, it was brought in by a delivery man from Blue Star Courier Service. Mm. I signed for it and brought it to you here in the office. Oh, yes, yes. When? When was it sent? Um, I can't remember exactly, but that would be about two weeks before the accident, I think. Thank you. So Maxwell knew me before the accident. He told me that he was on his way to the airport when he saw your car crash. He lied. I don't know what to believe about him anymore. Yeah. 
You will die and no one will find you. You can't kill me, you know. Only I know where the pictures are. I'm out to find them. So, you need me. I'm giving you one chance. Okay? Don't stretch my patience, Celeste. You understand? Do not stretch my patience. Now I'm giving you a chance to leave. You take the chance. Or you die with your secrets. Go to hell. Go to hell? We'll see who's going to hell. I think I would like to see you here at this time. Elena, I understand how you feel. No, you don't. You've been lying to me from day one. Look at this. Didn't you send that to me before the crash? Okay, Elena, yes, I lied to you. I lied to you, but what were you expecting? The truth? I could not tell you the truth considering your situation. What situation? Look, Alina, I love you so much. But you favored another man. And then I, I just cried and prayed and waited. Hoping that the genuineness of the love that I have for you will make you see the truth. The truth? What truth? The truth about Stanley and I. What on earth are you talking about? <sighs> Elena, we were in love, you and I. I loved you so much, but you chose another man because your father favored him. I tried everything that I could to win you back, everything, including sending you this card. But I was in favor because I was a nobody. The night he left with Stanley, he came in very drunk and reckless. You actually warned him in my presence. In your presence? How? Well, I had come to see you, and, and so had he. He was very tipsy. And then you told me off and left with him in his car. I was confused. I, I just didn't know what I was doing, so I followed you. I drove behind you. And as fate will have it, I saved your life. The life that Stanley would have wasted recklessly. Why didn't you tell me all this before? I couldn't, Elena. I couldn't. I mean, the doctor said that for your own safety, it was better not to bring up the past. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I ever lied to you. Please. Please. Look, your health was critical at the time. And it hurt me. I cried. I cried so much, praying, 
waiting for the right moment and then you recovered quicker than I thought. I need some time alone. So much is happening so fast. I need to clear my head. I need to sort things out. Oh, God. I understand, Elena. Okay. I just want you to know that I love you deeply. No matter what happens. But most importantly, I care about your safety. Just go, please. Just go. I mean, I just told you the truth. What did he want? He... He was telling me certain things. Certain things? Like... Um, like what? Um, did Dad know Stanley? Yes, I told you Stanley's mother and I are such good friends. Um, unfortunately, she had to go out of the country because of Stanley's death. You know how it, it dealt her a bad blow. Why? Don't worry, Mom. It's okay. Um, these just came in. Yeah, they're from the foundation. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Right. Hmm? There's a man here to see you. But I thought I told you I didn't want to see anybody. Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but he insists because he says he has a package that must specially be delivered to you. All right. Send him in. You have a package for delivery? Yes, for Miss Elena Bon. Yeah, that would be me. Thank you. Okay. Um, excuse me. Who is this from? It's from um a certain Mr. Celestine. He said it must get to you if you are if I don't see him by noon today and he doesn't call. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Let me see that. Oh my God. So Maxwell killed Stanley. He had the infantry to come here and lie to me. We must get to the police at once. Uh, I, I thought I saw a note somewhere. Let me see that. Maxwell killed Stanley to defraud you. Oh, we have to go to the police.
from elsewhere, I suppose. Yes, can I help you? Detective Phillips from Force Recovers. You're under arrest. Arrest? For what? When we get to the station, you will know. Coffin. Coffin? No, no, officer, you have to explain to me what's Please going on. Please don't attempt to resist arrest. Officer, let's just go somewhere and talk over this. No, officer, at least let me know what is going on. I'm sure there's a mistake somewhere, officer. Please. Huh? Officer, please, let's go. Saved your life. Yeah. What was it a crime to be a Samaritan? something wrong. Yeah. Okay, now there must be a misunderstanding somewhere. There's no misunderstanding. Officer, thank you very much. We would like to leave now. Hmm? My daughter is not feeling very well and I never want to set my eyes on this murder again. We shall keep you posted, madam. Okay. Uh, for now, we have ordered a full autopsy to be carried out on the corpse of late Mr. Stanley. Meanwhile, you two criminals will remain in custody. Thank you, thank you. Let's Elena, you can't do this, man. Officer, officer, I know there's a mistake somewhere, okay? Take that away. Officer, there's something wrong somewhere. Me too. Sorry. Dude, that's not what's happening. And no, please, let's get out of here. This, this is not right. I was just trying to help her. Officer, officer, I know that we'll get to the bottom of this, okay? Pretending like you love me all the time Now I just realized The world is full of pretenders and lies You said you love me 